Hey there, my friend, Guy Ferdman here. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about judgments. Judgments are prevalent. They're all over the place, all the time. You can't open up a newspaper or uh, you know, the news or anything else like that without just seeing just how much judgment is in our world. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the judgments that you're making, whether they're about yourself or other people, and how it is that you can start using this tool to accelerate your transformation. Because truly everything that we experience as human beings is really just a tool. It's an opportunity to get more present. It's an opportunity to transform something and evolve with something in our lives. Now, most of us don't really investigate too much into these tools. We think that we're supposed to be some way, this idealistic human being. But the reality is, if you are experiencing sadness and anger and fear and depression and joy and happiness and kindness and all those things, and you're experiencing them, then guess what? Those things are actually baked into the human mechanism. So to anticipate that you're gonna do some wonderful education and this education is gonna reveal to you how to never be sad or angry or depressed ever again, then I'm gonna tell you now that after 20 years of doing personal development work, just about, I have found that there's no way to overcome these parts of the system. They are baked in. So instead of creating a relationship that's against them, trying to manipulate and fix them and overcome them or whatever it is that you might be thinking that you can do with them, the reality is that they only gain strength as you do this. In fact, what you really wanna look at is how do I build a relationship with these shadowy, negative, call them what you will, aspects of ourselves that really aren't even those things. They're just the counterbalancing forces to everything in the universe. At Satori Prime, we often talk about the false premise of personal development is trying to make yourself feel better. Now, I think that's a really wonderful goal to try to make yourself feel better, but if you really look at anybody who's been in the personal development game for a long time, even if that's you, or even if you're just getting started, then I'm gonna give you here a huge break. The reality is it's not the goal to try to make yourself feel better, but instead to start trying to feel more period and not even try to just feel more so instead of trying to make yourself feel better just start feeling more and what you'll find is that you start creating a relationship and a partnership with these different aspects of yourself and because of that they stop having power over you and this is the great task and opportunity of our time is that instead of trying to become the idealized human that we all thought that we needed to be what we get to just start being is more of what we already are which is human beings that express and feel all these things but most of us when we feel something negative or shadowy aspect of ourselves we don't embrace it we're not like yes i'm angry this is amazing we shame ourselves and we start compartmentalizing these things, using the mind to try to protect ourselves from having an experience or feeling something. And then slowly over time, we feel stunted. We feel like we don't feel anymore. We feel really shut down. We almost feel like we're schizophrenic or you know, like sociopathic. We can't really quite feel anything at all anymore for ourselves or others. And again, when I started this video, I said it's about judgment because you'll notice that the things that you're judging the world for or judging other people for are the things that you actually judge yourself for. And generally speaking, you judge yourself more harshly about those things than you do about anything else. So every time that you judge someone out here or you judge the world for being some way, flip it around and notice if you're actually judging yourself for that thing. So of course, if that judgment now is unresolved in your system, then you're gonna try to uh, transplant it out here and take care of it in the world. So what that means is that you might try to change other people's opinions through your judgments, right? You think if I just make everyone think and feel this way, then I'll feel safe. And this is a false premise. You've been doing this your whole life and notice that if you feel any safer around that part. Now, if you just looked at the judgment of self, which is really the only thing you can actually control is, how do I actually feel about that within myself? And you took the time to resolve that piece and the moment that you stopped judging yourself, so if let's say every time you got angry, right, and that experience came up and you actually had a great relationship with your anger, so when it came up, instead of shaming yourself, you're like, wow, what an opportunity. I get to see some aspect of myself that's no longer in alignment and I can actually feel through this and then, you know, anger loses its hold on you. Do you think that once you've kind of resolved anger within your system, then would you really have any judgment when you see other people being angry? No, in fact, you'd probably meet them with empathy and sympathy and you'd be like, wow, I see that they're angry and I see that they're actually stuck. I see that there's some part that doesn't feel safe. Just by you being there, somebody who has a resolved peace inside their system around anger or any other negative or shadowy aspect, you can actually, through your own frequency, help other people resolve that in their parts. This is how evolution actually works. We actually have frequency and information and maps in our systems for other people, 
And the more of us that are taking this on, this self-judgment that's happening here and removing our uh, wanting or desire to change other people through our judgments, we're gonna find that the, our experience and perception of the world and reality that we see changes drastically because we will no longer judge the world. Now, I want you to imagine a world where you have billions of people doing this and the judgments that we have of others and self is disappearing, that there's more self-love and self-acceptance and self-worth on our planet. I don't know about you guys, but that's a planet that I'd love to be on and I'm steadily working on myself and others to accelerate that process. So if you wanna be part of this, notice your judgments. Notice your judgments of other people and don't judge yourself for judging other people because now you'll be too behind, right? You're judging yourself for judging others and then judging yourself for judging them. It's this big, long kind of paradox that happens. The only thing you get to notice is what am I judging and turn it around and see, am I judging myself about that thing? Cool, now how do I get to resolve that? I get to feel through that thing so that I can build an intimate relationship with it and once I do, it will no longer have me. I will actually have it. And that's the big difference between being angry and having anger, or being sad and having sadness. Notice that the second one is just, it's moving through, it's an energy, an emotion, an energy in motion that's actually moving through your system and it no longer has control over you. So if you take this on, I promise you, you're gonna see some really big, drastic results and transformation in your life. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up on it. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. My name is Guy Ferdman. I'm a coach and mentor here at Satori Prime, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye, guys.